Are you ready to help scientists by tagging butterflies? Stay tuned. Good afternoon from the Thoughtful Gardener. I am so excited that I've received my kit from Monarch Watch, which allows me to participate as a citizen scientist in the longest relay race on earth. This is the super generation. The super generation is larger than their parents and they are the great grandchildren of the butterflies who left my property this way station last year. So I'm super excited to show you the butterfly that we took out of the way station earlier this summer. It was a very small, tiny caterpillar at that time. I was using him as a demonstration caterpillar for a summer camp. Now I have plenty of milkweed in my garden so I can do this. It's extremely important that you have their host plant. They will not eat anything else. If you are gathering the butterflies from the wild, it's really important you do this responsibly. And one of the things as a thoughtful gardener is you have plenty of fresh milkweed. Now there's some recent data that certainly suggests that some of the milkweed that you get from your standard nurseries could be contaminated. So know your grower and do ask if they treated it with any kind of chemicals. If they don't know the grower and they can't answer that question, I don't recommend that you buy. So this butterfly uh, hatched just this morning. It's been drying its wings for several hours and we're gonna get ready to tag it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Monarch Watch sends a very detailed picture on how to get this done. You're gonna put the sticker right in this mitten shaped part of their wing. It will not hurt them, but it has information so that the scientists can find out where it came from, this way station, and where it's going. So if you happen to see one with a tag, I want you to take a picture. It's really, really important because it helps the scientists to understand the migratory pattern. But my question to all of you thoughtful gardeners is, are they going to have anything to eat when they land in your yard? You can see behind me a lot of the fall blooming perennials that are blooming in the way station, as well as annuals that they absolutely love. This way station is blooming and that's on purpose. We are keeping the party going because we've got lots of critters to fuel. Not only are we fueling butterflies, we are also fueling birds and dragonflies. Yes, they migrate too. So we wanna make sure that we are fattening everybody up. For the ones that are staying here, we're fattening them up too because many of your butterflies this time of year are going to overwinter on your property. So it's really important to get them nice and fat so they can survive the winter. So we're gonna show you now how to tag the butterfly. Stay tuned. All right, so we've got our butterfly here and we're going to tag their wing like we talked about here, right on this little mitten part. Just one second on there and this butterfly is ready to go. That quick, they're gone, which is really fantastic. They are going to be headed now towards Mexico. They can fly up to 100 miles a day, which is really fantastic. He's actually coming right back into the way station. Uh, did that first inaugural flight, which is really exciting, testing out those new wings. I mean, to become a butterfly, you gotta be willing to give up everything grow a set of wings, only one in 10 actually will be able to do this. So it's very, very important if you are doing this, make sure your hands are clean. I wash my hands really thoroughly before I touch the butterfly. We don't wanna make him sick, especially if you have chemicals like sunscreen on your hands or you have a pet and that your pet has any kind of flea treatment that can hurt your butterfly. So make sure that your hands are clean. So I'm gonna show you where he is and uh, we're gonna wish him good luck on his journey and we're gonna be recording everything that we know about the butterfly, the date, the type of butterfly it is, male or female. We're also going to uh, indicate that this was a reared butterfly, not a wild butterfly, because I did bring the caterpillar on my porch. Really important distinction because it helps the scientists understand which ones are actually making to Mexico. On the East Coast, only about 8% make it. So uh, it's really, really important. If you're seeing any type of tag butterfly, take a picture. And if you want to participate in this, order yourself a net and the stickers right away from Monarch Watch. Garden thoughtfully and take care.